can laugh at our courage Take this much To have and to hold Continue to climb There are hundreds more just like us So how is this not property dualism, you ask? Or maybe not. I'll pretend that you did. Because this quasi-duality, and I have to say quasi-duality because if there is any barrier at all, it is a very permeable one. This quasi-duality exists for everything that a human being experiences except themselves. Not only can the human experience of themselves not be reasonably reflected as a dichotomy between physical and cognitive or physical and experiential, I don't think we can even really intelligibly describe it as a duality. I don't think we can even intelligibly describe it as some sort of pluralistic, syner uh, synergistic, and mutually dependent duality. A distinction would necessarily be a function of interpretative mechanism. It would necessarily be a projection of some aspect of human experience into one sphere or the other. And much as in a, in a very carefully crafted lens system, one could hypothetically focus light to such a degree that while it may be ambient at either side, at the point of transfer between two separate or even um, mutually coexistent spaces, within the system itself, it would reach a point of singularity. And here we run into and here we run into the real point. And this is where things get more than a little sticky. The human being coming into context, entering into physical world, entering into conceptual world. And in that mutuality finding, the problems posed by each much the same. We find that in some degree, this is reflective of a projection or a separation of aspects of our own experience in our experience of the world around us that these two spheres, these two spaces in which we would interact, in which we would exist, um, are within us and within our experience of them um, singular. They are very difficult to distinguish. In some facets we could almost say that while there is some difficulty in distinction, um, in, in environment between concept and material between meaning and materia we would find uh, we would say that there there is no distinction there is no distinction present between those two within the human being and not just us not just speaking in the first person And here we find some interesting questions about, first, human conception, human interpretation, but human interrelation and human to environment interrelation as well. This incredibly complicated and incredibly simple, impossibly simple, arrangement of concept to object, concept to concept, object to object, and subject to all of the above, and to their relations, would almost seem a necessary concession 
so that we may in some way in some way correlate our understanding of our environment to our understanding of our relational environment correlate the relations we have to our non-conscious environment to our conscious environment the presence of other human beings the presence of other living things we find ourselves in some degree in the position of being animists not by conviction but by necessity much as our systems of interpretation our systems of understanding and the means with which we seek to fill or create those categories are in some degree reflective of us in some degree reflective of the shape of our own minds so too must they be and so too do we find that they are reflective of the way that we as sentient beings relates to other sentient beings all understanding then to some degree would hinge on a single point the recognition of consciousness there's another word for innate recognition of consciousness and integrating that word into this context certainly has some interesting implications that word incidentally is one you shouldn't be surprised at all to hear me say empathy <laughs> 